Hi everyone, today we're going to be using Microsoft Excel to analyze data. We're going to be creating frequency distribution tables and analyzing the mean, mode and the median. Here we've got some football statistics and I sourced it from whoscored.com forward slash statistics. We've got 20 teams here and what we're going to be looking at today are the goals scored by the 20 teams, which is in column D. First, let's grab those scores and we're going to control C and we're going to put them into our second tab here, which says frequency distribution table. So let's click on that. We've got a bit of a template here and here is where we're going to create our frequency distribution table. Here we've got a, a title that says copy and paste the goals into A4. A4 is the cell just below this. So let's press that and we're going to press control V to paste all of our goals there. Now that we've got all our goals here, we can take a look at the frequency distribution table, which has the heading score, frequency, and FX. The scores are going to, going to be the goals in ascending order. So first we need to take a look at our goals to find the minimum goal. So the minimum is 41, so we'll just put that there. That means the next will be 42 and 43. We are going to drag this out until we reach our maximum goal. Our maximum goal is 75. Okay, so we're up to 75, so we can just hop back. We've just completed our first column. The next column is our frequency column. The frequency column is how many teams scored exactly this many goals. So we're going to be using a special function here to help us with that. We're going to be using the count if function. To type a function into Excel, we're going to press the equal sign and then just type in count if. It will also give us a definition. The count if function counts the number of cells within a range that meet a given condition. So we're going to open the brackets and we're going to first select the range we are looking at. The range we're looking at starts with A4 and it goes all the way to A23. So we're going to stop at A23. Now, one additional thing is I would like to lock in this range. To lock in a range, we need to lock in the cells. So first we need to lock in the cell A4. To do that, we just press a dollar sign in front of the A and then a dollar sign in front of the four. This locks in the column and it locks in the row. Do the same with A23. And now we've locked in our range. The criteria that I'm looking at is I want the score or the goals to be exactly 41. So then my criteria will be this cell here. Close your brackets and then press equals. Now I have exactly two teams that have scored uh, 41 goals. Just double check that that is correct. And here is one team and here is the other team. Now what we can do is we can just drag this out until we reach all of the teams. Okay, and just to check that it that that's correct, when we sum this up, which is the equal sum function, as all the numbers in a range of cells, we should have 20. So grab our first number, um, and then the second and last number. Close your brackets, and this should be 20. Okay, so that's correct. Make sure you use the autofill function, which is what we have done right now with Excel. It makes Excel a very, very powerful tool to analyze data. The next thing we need to do is complete the last column of our frequency table. If we hover over the FX title, we can see that the FX column can be completed by doing the frequency multiplied by the score. Make sure you have an equal sign so that Excel knows you're doing a calculation. Grab the frequency and multiply it with the score. Press enter. So 41 multiplied 2 gives 82. And what we're going to do is we're going to autofill this. Awesome. In E39, we are going to put the sum of the FX column. So equals sum. So remember that sum function adds up all the numbers in a range of cells. Open our brackets, and then we're going to collect our range. So we're going to come up all the way to E4 and drag it down. And we're going to stop at E38. 
close the brackets and then press enter. The sum of the FX column is 1,131. Awesome. Let's take a look at the main mode and the median for this data set. To calculate the mean, we want to sum up fx and divide it by the sum of f. Remember that Excel registers an equal sign as the beginning of a calculation, so make sure we press an equals there. We'll then grab the sum of fx, which is 1,131, and divide it by the sum of f, which is 20. Our formula then becomes equals e39 divided by d39. Press enter, and now we've got our mean to be 56.55. The mode is the most frequently occurring number. To calculate the mode, we have a function called mode. So we'll press equals and we'll type mode, open the brackets, and we'll grab our data set, which ranges from A4 all the way to A23. Close the brackets and then press enter. Our mode is 49. The median can be calculated by using the median function. So we'll press equals and type median. Open the brackets and then grab the data set, which is from A4 to A23. Close the brackets and then press enter. Our median then is 54.5. The next thing that we can do is create a quick chart. So we can grab the scores and frequencies and we can insert a bar chart or a column graph. Okay. Let's move this to the top, move my face, and we just need to fix up the title and the axes labels. Gold scored by top 20 things, and call football things. To create our labels, we go to the add chart element, which is on the top left, and we can press axes titles, primary horizontal, as well as the primary vertical. For the horizontal, we can call it the number of goals scored. And for the primary vertical, we can call it frequency. Okay, that completes our chart. Now it's over to you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson. There is a third tab where you're able to practice your Excel skills. Until next time, see you later.